Now, a charity has been slammed as being misogynist for suggesting doctors could say bonus hole instead of vagina. Now, the glossary for medical professionals from Joe's Cervical Cancer Trust say it's an alternative word for vagina that transgender or non-binary patients may prefer. But women's rights groups have called it loathsome and utterly dehumanising. The charity says the guide was developed with the LGBT community and doesn't suggest all women will want to use it. Now, I just need to say that it's not all women's rights charities that have kicked off about this. It's a very particular type of women's rights charity, which are, you know, trans-exclusionary feminists, people who are gender critical, um, who've lashed out at this. Um, but I'm going to defer before I give my opinion to our resident bonus hole, Kevin. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, yeah. Oh, You've been boom. practicing that joke have, for a long, I long have. time. Um, I am not a bonus hole. <laughs> You're are, you a vagina. are you interested I, I, in the I story, Kevin? Think, I, just think, I, I mean, I, I think it's sexist. I think it's <laughs> insulting okay. to women. It's such a nasty little hideously ugly term. Uh, they, uh, they give you an alternative as well. If you don't fancy bonus hole, you can use the even more lovely front hole. No. I mean, who? Who's coming up with these terms? Okay. Three-year-olds? That's exactly what I wanted you to say, because here's my defence of it. Uh, so Joe's cervical cancer... I thought this your trap, have I? Yes, you <laughs> brought me into my trap. Um, into my bonus hole. Um, Joe's... <laughs> Not again! <laughs> Not again! We're no, moving we'll on. We'll never that out of that. Joe's Cervical Cancer Trust are absolutely incredible. It was set up um, after Very the enough. death of a woman who was 40 years old who, who sadly passed away from cervical cancer. And they have issues with trans men or non-binary people coming forward to get cervical smears sometimes, because that can sometimes be a barrier. So a trans man being somebody who was assigned female at birth, so born with born a, a vagina, woman, but, but lives as a man. Okay. So to all intents and purposes, is male or appears male, but has a cervix. And so they're trying to reach out to people and say, look, this service, cervix, cervix service, mm -hmm. isn't just for people who look and identify as women, but we want you to, anybody who has a cervix to come in. And if you would rather we call it a front hole or a bonus hole than a vagina, then so be it. Can't they think of something nicer than front <laughs> hole? Than I think it's quite hole. cheeky. It's horrible. But come on, it's <laughs> yeah. disgusting. It, is, it would be misogynistic if you said it to me. But if, it, if yeah. you were saying oh, it about it's, your own These hole. nuances. <laughs> so but, but it denigrates women. It's dehumanising for women. I mean, it's... But it's women who've, as you put it, it's people who are born female who've requested it. Yeah, but what about, what about the rest of the women community? Then, then they call who it are, vagina. Who, are, who, are de who think, feel denigrated, they feel dehumanised, they feel discriminated think, against. Uh, sorry, I think what I was going to say is, I think that what they're saying is, be prepared to use those words. If somebody comes in and they say that they would prefer to use yeah. those terms, that terminology, then be prepared to go with the flow rather than insisting it be called something else that they don't want it to be called. Well, insisting the, the word, the word vag vagina. vagina. But if they are that now living, word, though, but if it? they are living as a man and they do mm -hmm. not want to actually sort of, you know, to even kind of think about the fact that they um, have a, a cervix and 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 therefore because of gender you know, because of gender et because, yeah. exactly. They do then, have it though. But I, I, no, I know that they have it. But what what the, what this is actually saying is just be prepared. To know that this is a this is a word this is a this is a, a word a phrase they that they so might use. You don't have to use it. Yeah, but but somebody might a, come up with it. This is a constant trend amongst charities, amongst public sector, amongst big corporates. Even the Bank of England, in their brilliance, are doing all of this stuff. What and calling thing, calling people? No, but it's, it's the same thing. They're saying all of a sudden. different kind of bonus. They give bonus. But these organisations, they're saying all of a sudden. You know, they're asking. They're asking males, are you pregnant? They're saying, you know, they're not using the word breast for women. I mean, it's all of this stuff is a nonsense and it's a constant process of, of going in this direction that I think women feel is wrong. Well, two women in the room here who don't feel as strongly as you do about it, but often this is a manufactured outrage and it's turned into a far bigger I deal. I tell you, than it it's not manufactured. Is. I'm talking to groups up and down the country. Well, you're and, talking to a woman right now. Yeah, well, I'm talking to I'm talking to women all up and down the country you're talking who, to feel, a woman right who now. feel deeply offended, yeah. mm -hmm. who feel denigrated, and who feel that all their rights... But has it affected all them directly, rights, or is it something they've read about in the I tell you what it's really affecting. It's affecting their children at schools. All of this gender questioning, it's all part of the same topic. It's mm. utterly outrageous, and I think it's going to stop. Yeah, I mean, I do think there are certain things, like when, when they talk about chest feeding, and you think, hmm, you know, because, you know, men still difference. have... 
No, this, I'm just all I was going to say is why call it chest feeding when men have breasts and you know women yeah. have breasts, so call it breastfeeding. Don't bother with the. That's what I'm saying. And it's only. As I mean, there tiny... are certain things where you go. Yeah. Where you go. That is actually pointless. Yes. And other things where you think, well, it's just you know. Okay. But, but, it, it, but, you but might it's hear. all relative, and but, when you yeah. consider the tiny percentage of trans people that we have in this country, and the even tinier percentage of trans people who have children. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. So small. But so, the, but but with the thing about the vagina bonus being called a bonus hole, whether you are now identifying as a man or not, that is still a vagina that you have. That doesn't change. But you, yes, you, but you it, may, does, it you, might you, change you, you because you may, you might, might have surgery to it. turn it into a penis. Well, then your cervix is still in there, Yeah. is it? Yeah, so it's the cervix is still there, but not, not a vagina. And do, you have to, and we, do you have to call the cervix something else now? Yeah, or so well, let's, let's, let's think of something now. Let's come up with something. <laughs> you don't need to call the cervix but JJ, something if you, else. Well, we can, gone through, but if why not? Just let me challenge JJ on this one. If you'd gone through something that was deeply, deeply personal to you, mm -hmm. that you'd struggled with psychologically for your entire life, and you felt like you'd been ostracised from society... Look, I hear what you're saying. You've got, you've I hear got what a right to say, you know what? Don't ask the I'm, rest of us to change not, our language. But they're not they're asking not. anyone. They they're not asking the anyone just, to change language. They are. I, this is the issue. It's this going down a very slippery path. It's the thin end of the wedge, and it's got to stop. It's not. They're not asking anyone to change their language. They absolutely are. This... The NHS is very... asking men if you're pregnant, for heaven's sake. No, it's a bonus hole. It's a, it's a different it's language. A it's a different name. So the charity that is said a change that, of language. So, no, this is what individuals is. might they, use when they, they walk use. into the room. It is. Not the other way around. We've got to get... It's, 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 it's the madness doctor, of it all. Kevin, it's not doctors it's using mad. it. It's mad. It's insane. It is it's patients insane. using it. Everybody over Kevin, the age of 30... Kevin, do you actually listen to words? Do you listen to anything anyone says? I think the misogynists in the room are the men who are speaking over the women. Over the age of 13 who goes to the NHS for an x-ray, has to say whether or not they're pregnant, even if they're blokes, big fat guys I have to say whether or not I'm pregnant, even though I've never been yes, pregnant in my life. Yes, but you're a woman. So I can't just... get pregnant. If I, somebody I might asks not be me, are pregnant. you pregnant, I'm going to say, take a wild guess. <laughs> well, I think your blood pressure might be getting a little bit high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about a different... Should we move on to a different gender no, story? No, let's next? talk about this. <laughs> no, let's talk about <laughs> bonus holes all no, night. Kevin, <laughs> Kevin <laughs> you're, you're ring-fenced. You've had enough time. A transgender a woman has won the Miss Netherlands beauty pageant oh, for the boy. first time. Oh, just stop it, Kevin. <laughs> the 22-year-old model and actress Ricky Valerie Collar made history yesterday when she was crowned. <coughs> she began transitioning at the age of eight, says becoming a woman wasn't easy, and she'll now compete in Miss Universe later this year. Now, the first transgender woman entered Miss Universe in 2018, and the pageant is owned by a Thai billionaire who identifies as a trans woman. And my thought on this is the fact that I genuinely didn't know that any of these these miss, you know, fill in the dots, was still happening. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like such a kind of archaic, peculiar thing to go judging people on how they look and nothing else. No, it's, not, it's, not, it's not just nothing else. It's their personality well, as well. OK, they, yeah, their personality. Well, they like and and yeah. whether they like travel and whether they yeah. support charities and all the rest of it, it seems like a That's why you would That's why That's why it's actually so clever, because commercially... If their numbers have been dropping and people have been sort of, you know, less people watching, right. isn't it brilliant to raise the story, to get everybody talking about it? It's great free publicity. Yeah. You almost organise, maybe the owners, who's also Tranda, maybe actually this whole thing... <laughs> and gender. Are you trying to change language Sorry, it's here? I'm getting Tranda. Confused. The <laughs> owner, who is, who is a world, transgender person, right? Um, the owner maybe organised this Good in point. order to commercially no. boost the rating. And then no. throw some. Is that a conspiracy theory? Yeah, it's a conspiracy theory for sure. That's they've my had, second one. They've, had, tin foil they've had trans um, women in this competition before. Since Not just the Netherlands, but. 2018. Since, well, since 2012, they've allowed <laughs> trans women, yeah. but I think 2018 was the first time they had someone who was trans compete. But I agree with Penny, this is archaic. It was only. This year, we're 2023 now, right? It was only this okay. year they allowed women to enter who have never been pregnant um, and have never... Who sorry, have been pregnant. Who have been pregnant previously and yeah. are married. Before yeah. then, before this year, it's going to be, if you've ever had a baby, you can't enter. Yeah, there was somebody married, stripped of enter. their title, it's wasn't there? Because well, it, they suddenly revealed that she was that a single true? mother. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I remember yeah, the time was, that yeah. she was stripped of her That's title because she was a single mother. Well, I know, which is why it seems like such a peculiar thing to well, be Well, the good doing. thing is, if you but think, if you think uh, backward looking, the good thing is, is Miss, <laughs> Miss Good Great Britain is reintroducing the bikini uh, <laughs> contest. They might So be. that's uh, that's something to look forward to. I like the idea of Miss Good Britain, which is a slip of the tongue there. <laughs> so what happens with Mr. Universe? I mean, could we qualify? Or... Yeah. We're too good looking for that competition. You think? That's what it is, yeah. I 
think I'm, I'm, he should not. I'm going in. <laughs> oh, Nicola, that's oh, really hard. Oh, oh, honestly, yeah. I'm going no, in I'm for, I'm going I don't in mean for to Miss be Universe. <laughs> I definitely win. But talking about the wider trans issue, the fact that, you know, so often gender critical people, etc., the big debate is like, should trans trans women shouldn't be allowed in our bathrooms because, you know, that's men coming into our bathrooms and it's it's a you know a Which safety risk for women. You're saying that that woman there, that trans woman, is a safety risk for women and that she should be using the men's toilet. I love you pointing at yourself on screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She should be using the men's toilet. There, there, there she is. Right, You're she... saying that she should be using the urinal. She you. is stunning. Yeah. She's beautiful. Um, she obviously entered under the correct criteria and she won. Yep. Will she win Miss Universe? I hope she God, does. Well, we're all I on think... the edge of our seats about <laughs> that. I, I reckon you she'll, won't. she'll be favourite, she'll win. It's great for PR. Who knows? I mean, it's they own it. Good cynic, luck to Richard. them. <laughs> Over the cynic. I like that lime green as well. It looks very nice with the red, the lime green. Yeah, that's Sorry, lovely, have yeah. I gone off on, gone off on? You are, yeah, ever so slightly. <laughs> ever so slightly. <laughs>